Yeah. I'm thinking, I, I said Samsung. If anybody would see Samsung under the Iron Man lights, he would shut the door for the next 10 years. Oh, it would be Flex Wheeler. I have a question for Leslie. Leslie, in your professional opinion, getting to the Olympia, why do you think it is that the women have a much easier time getting in shape, presenting a consistently in shape look on stage year after year after year, yet the men have all this trouble somehow timing their peaks and, and, and getting themselves to look their absolute best? Is there a psychological component to this, do you think? Well, the first thing that came to my mind is biological. This is why women have can have babies and guys don't, because <laughs> we can take it. Well, you got to be real. We're going to get defunded now. You yeah, it <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly, you know, generally speaking, women tend to have a lot more difficulty losing fat than men. So right. we are more practiced. Uh, we understand what it means to mentally go to a very dark place to lose that fat. Mm -hmm. And we're willing to do whatever it takes, literally. Um, okay. And that includes like really low, like just protein, no veggies. Like, and, and not to say guys don't do that too, but a lot of the guy, and I think you were talking about this on a previous show. Remember the timing of when the women went on stage versus the guys, or it was different. So that's- We're going to get to that. Yeah, we're going to get to that. Yeah, you know, uh, Mills, you showed me some pictures of Samson earlier in the day and you know chris aceto sent me some pictures of some video actually of uh andrew jack earlier mm -hmm. in the day and it was like night and day now i don't know if it was the lighting on stage or if it was the fact i might one of my beliefs is that these guys are just waiting too long and what happens is when you get up in the morning you're usually the driest that you are we know that but you could be you tend to be flat then after you get a couple meals and you by noon you know, one, two o'clock, you tend to look your best. You kind of peak your body. And then as time goes on after that, it seems like it, it, it diminishes. And it's not a it's not a hydration thing. It's like the water seems to leave the muscle and go in places it shouldn't be. So it can make you look watery or it can make you look flat, but it's it's kind of just like the biorhythms of the body changing. How do you feel about that that description? Is that pretty accurate, Milos? It's very accurate that biorhythm description the description that you you just explained perfectly and i can promise you, that's why i ask you have you been on the in the backstage because danny james came and then danny james told me right away like oh my god uh, i haven't seen this detail on the stage and he was looking at uh, at uh, samson Samson. everybody that was looking backstage looked considerably better uh, and stage lights really scaled down everybody's com uh, condition by a large margin to the point if you go on the YouTube and search for the old videos and comparisons 2022 yeah. Derek and 2023 it seems yeah. like 2022 Derek was you know much better conditioned which was not the case I, I think that uh, you know Derek was uh, in, in a peak condition that he could be in from the back that we always talk about it and uh, the lack of density and the maturity and uh, all this detail you know made him appear soft now does it soft looking means out of shape? No, but uh, some other guys, like including Charles Griffin, who was ripped to pieces and dried to the bone, yeah, right? Yeah. On on the stage, he didn't leave that impact like he did in Reno. Uh, look, uh, those pictures they've seen you've seen from Samson, and you are coach yourself. And first thing you asked me at the Friday uh, post pre judging uh, um, show if I uh, loaded him up. I didn't load him up at all. And, and literally, as I told you, uh, he was low carbs uh, five days in a week and then bump it up uh, uh, one day, higher carb, one day he had a cheat meal. Uh, this, this was a process all the way through. And same thing happened uh, before he came Saturday, Sunday. We did the low carbs and then we did the three 90 grams of carbs per meal uh, meals on, on Wednesday, 
and uh, five on uh, Thursday, and the same thing on Friday by the time he stepped on the stage. That's, we're talking 90 grams of carbs. That's like uh, 450 grams of carbs a day. Right. That's right? A, and for you, that's very low, yeah. It's super low, and not just for, it's for a 300 pound guy, right? You, you kind of actually think that uh, I may be under carbing him. So they, they would see like, oh, there's a carbing issue. Samson was super pleased with his condition. And if you interview him, you know, he's going to tell you that was uh, him at his best. Now, the, the pictures that he's seen in the video footage, it's like, damn, like, look at this. And, you know, he's looking himself in the mirror backstage and is freaking out how good he looked. Yeah, I, I agree. I, you know, I, when you sent me those pictures, I was surprised at how, at how tight he was. And like I said, I saw a picture of Andrew Jack too earlier that morning, and he looked really good in his hotel room. So uh, something's going on now, you know, and I don't want to beat this to, to death, but I, I think that it's our duty as press, you know, and I think John and Milos and you, me, and we fit into that category to, to give our feedback on the show, which I think 98% of the show was phenomenal. I mean, it's like, it's, it's night and day from what it was in that Orleans hotel. It's like, we're going to the Academy Awards. I mean, it's that nice. But sometimes things can be overdone. And the, the show has to be catered not for the Academy Awards. It has to be catered for a bodybuilding show where guys are displaying a physique on stage under the best lighting conditions. And also to the best of how their body looks. And we know that the longer the day goes on, the bodies tend to get worse, especially the big, big guys. The little guys seem to be able to hold on better. And the lighting is super important. I mean, as we know from the old days of the Iron Man Pro, which had the best lighting of all time. Mm -hmm. yep. and why, why do you think that there's this resistance against making these very small changes? Because I, I wouldn't call them, I wouldn't say that we're, we're, we're being negative about the show. We're just being, we're putting constructive criticism forth. Yeah, yeah. And well, I don't want anybody to take this wrong way, like, oh, we are bashing them. But... Since 1991 uh, that I turned uh, pro bodybuilder, I went to Iron Man contests. Oh my God. And I was shocked to see how good I looked, you know, because I didn't look that good in a gym, in a house, looking in the mirror, right? Those stage right. lights made me look like, uh, oh my God. Then yeah. I went to the Joe Withers photo shoot, and I mentioned this. Uh, I remember that was 92. Gaspari was still in, in very good shape. And I see him off, you know, the, the lights, and he looked like, you know, kind of month out of the show. And mm -hmm. then two steps he made right there under the lights and all of a sudden ripped Rich Gaspari appeared. I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, and, and I've seen this. I said, Thierry Pastel in European Grand Prix Tour backstage, I, I could swear I could grab his fat. And I was wondering why, <laughs> why is he beating me, right? And then when I, when I uh, didn't make a top five, I went to watch the top five and he appeared. He could not, I mean, redefines the, the conditioning. So that's how good lights are. Now I'm thinking, and I, I said, Samson, if anybody would see Samson under the Iron Man lights, he would shut the door for the next 10 years. Oh, it would be Flex Wheeler. Yeah. 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 Well, when, when I, when I said that everybody jumps down my throat, but I, I thought Samson was, I, if, if it comes down to, if it comes down to, well, Lunsford was soft from the front and Hottie soft from the back. And okay, so they so they're out of condition or appear to be under the lighting, under the circumstances. You can't, it seems like they're not as penalized as Samson was, because Samson could easily have won that show and there could be as much or as little complaining as there is right now. So I don't think it would have mattered at all, except that the big Mr. Olympia looking guy would be Mr. Olympia right now. The other thing I want to say about the lighting is is that the lighting, and I, I'm, I'm trying to be really careful here because, you know, I do work for Jake. Well, yeah, that's why we shouldn't be afraid. We shouldn't have to be afraid to give our voice our, you know, our constructive criticism because it's not a negative thing. It's going to be helpful to the show. Right. I'm not, and, I'm, and I'm not, and I'm not negging on it. What I'm saying is there, there seems to be a conflict between production value and what's best for the athlete in terms of espousing what, right. what they've put together, okay? So from my perspective on pay-per-view, because I wasn't there, I can tell you that pre-judging and the beginning of the night show were really, really bad lighting-wise. Part of it was because of the smoke. 
So you don't really think of that. You think of the right. smoke as kind of like, you know, it's like adds drama to the scene. You know, you have the smoke. But right, right. if you're looking up like this and the smoke is there and the lighting is not, you know, optimal, that smoke interferes with the detail. And especially on that camera, because it's so, only so many pixels on that right. thing. So you're, you're getting a diffused, it's almost like a filter, but in a bad way. You know yeah. that smoke. So I, the I think these are it's not Star Search. We're, 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 it's it's a bodybuilding show that needs to be right. judged. That's the problem. And, yeah. and the, that is the point I'm trying to make is that there, yeah. excuse me, needs to be a better delineation or 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 sort of com uh, compromise between production value and show value. And while the smoke and the lights are definitely integral part of production value you got to make sure they're not extinguishing the show value so right. um as far as i could say constructively there was too much smoke the lighting needed to be better and the combination of that smoke and the lighting on the big screen because you know only a few lucky people can see it from the front row where you're really getting to see what's going on but from the tv screens and from pay-per-view the the pixelation of that picture confounded by the smoke and the lighting made all that detail a lot of the detail these guys had made it look non-existent so i think that's something that needs to be looked well, that, at yeah. from the athlete's perspective yeah that's why i think it was a problem it was hard to judge a show from pay-per-view you had to be there in person now here's the iron, here's the iron man i mean it's a very simple night set they would have with you know they put a little Dark background with a couple stars, and they had the little Iron Man behind him. But it was effective, you know what I mean? It, right. it got the job done, and it looks nice in pictures. Don't, after all, don't you think that the – what really holds the show for posterity purposes? It's the video, and, and it's, the, it's the end result. In other words, what do the photos look like? If the athletes don't look good in the photos, then no one's ever going to get a real true you know, read on how that show went you know, 20 years from now. But, but no. that, using the Iron Man almost is not fair because Balak, you know, studied lighting. He, you know, puts a lot of effort into the lighting. He's a former bodybuilder. He cares right. about the lighting. So all the lights are green for Balak to put on a stellar, you know, spectacle for specifically highlighting the bodybuilder. And he doesn't pay he, much attention at all to production value. He was there. He was in the. I yeah, actually was they hire him. him? What are they? Yeah, I have to to say, they didn't even have to hire him. All they had to say, "Hey, John, can you come over here and take a look at the lighting?" He'd do it for free. I'm telling you, he would. Yeah, that that's actually mandatory. Look, it's not like uh, uh, show promoters and Olympia promoter they don't want a perfect light. You know, they maybe just don't know enough about it, as you said. John Balik studied and, and he knows and everything else. But, but I think it's major importance for for a football uh, to be played. You need football stadium for a. UFC, you need the octagon right. for a bodybuilding, you need the stage, and for competition, you need a black curtain. And uh, I want to mention this uh, I discussed this with Tyler Mannion put them on a platform so that if they want to, if they want to uh, move forward, they're going to fall off the platform. <laughs> that, that's a, not you a know? bad idea, Vilas. I didn't yeah. think about that. You're but right, these are kind of things that you have to do. Black <laughs> curtain is mandatory, you know. Yeah. So, and, for and, the, and the, platform, the platform also. Gets them up off the floor. A lot of times these guys do shots on the floor, like on a knee or something. You can't see them. Yeah, you know? it, it was just disturbing. That part, we can discuss this uh, uh, moving forward and all that stuff. But lights. I'm sure that every promoter wants to do it correctly. Then Bob Chikrilo jumped in to say, like, listen, there is different uh, ambience. There's different auditorium. There's difference in lighting. You can't really set it up. I know that professional photographers can go to Himalaya, or whatever, and set up the lights just perfectly. I've seen Chris Land do it. I've seen, right. you know, there are certain lights for the gym. There are certain right. lights for the stage. So it is mm -hmm. possible. It's just like, okay, uh, without, uh, you know, giving them too much criticism. That's constructive criticism. I don't know how to do it, but hire Balik. Perrin can do it. It might cost you half, half a million to have them set them up. But, but <laughs> Chris Land, I mean, those people that knew exactly how to do it. Once you have a guidance, then just repeat it, and right. we can always have the same same standard of uh, Look, quality. Jake is not cheap by any means. He spent a lot of money on that production value, and you know yeah. what? It, 
I, I think sometimes we forget that we're actually putting on a bodybuilding show that is judged by how the guys look. So it, the competitors are more important than the production value, which I think is what John was saying. So you have to do production value, but it has to be, you know, it has to jive with how the athletes look because the, how the athletes look is the number one priority. So, so here's but, the question. Just sorry, John, yeah. because you made a point. If lights were different, would the results be different? I, I, you, Milos, I told you after the pre-judging, I texted you, although I texted the wrong number. He didn't, <laughs> yeah. he didn't get back to me until yesterday, but I texted <laughs> him on Saturday night. I said, I think, they're gonna, I think Samson's going to win this show because I thought he looked really good Saturday night. And um, I thought they were going to give it to him because I thought they were going to go with the big man, you know. That's what I thought. It would have made the most sense because you wouldn't be adding up side shots and back shots and front shots. and Because Hani and, and, and Derek were very similar. I mean, it, it was... you see, that, that's that's a huge point right there is that if you had if, – if, if Jack – if Andrew Jack was in better shape and you had, you had a, a, a comparison between Andrew and – and Samson, right. and then you have that's apples and apples. Then you have oranges and oranges. You got Hottie and 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 Derek. Derek. I, I don't think you can compare an apple to an orange or two oranges to an apple and yeah. get anything other than fruit salad. So it's it's you, you gotta you gotta defer to what the what the ideal should be. And if you line up the top three, the ideal Mister Olympia in in silhouette in in portrait in full. Full view. The guy that looks like Mr. Olympia is Samson. If you're yeah. going to quote Mr. Olympia, so but I, if I say that I'm a bias coach, listen. Congratulations to to Derek. What he did is unbelievable. Is he deserving winner? Sure. Winner very much so. I mean, a lot of people saw him winning. I know. I think there was an argument for all three people to to win. Uh, mm -hmm. Hardy has a standard of Hardy's conditioning from the front. That conditioning is untouchable. That's next level. You know, from the back, he didn't really repeat it. Then you look at balance and everything. You know, so there's the argument. Uh, what Derek did, 212-pound uh, champion, came and almost won the show last year. He right. made improvements. They were not clearly visible because of the lights, but they, they, they were there. And, and he won. But uh, uh, when you analyze the score sheets, because a lot of people can always say, Milos, you're delusional. You're just a fanboy. You are, you are uh, you know, <laughs> putting, putting uh, Samson. I said, nobody else saw it. Four out of nine judges saw him at least second uh, at, uh, at the pre-judging. Because if you understand the score, uh, score points, you know, two highs, two lows are being erased. Right. So if he had a 13 points, that means the, there were five third places, two thirds were uh, excluded, so you have a nine points. And then he had a second, second, and maybe first and first, or at least second, second, to for those two highs to be erased. So there was that close. He was in very much in consideration. I like that you say, uh, Dave, that you you like him better on Saturday. Well, on Saturday he actually uh, slipped down, and every judge saw him third. So they they definitely. Decided there was there was a show between uh, Derek and uh, Hari. I have a you know huge I Iranian fan base, and they're contacting me. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I said, even if I'm a judge, I could see how uh, Derek could win, and I could also see how I would give it to Hari. You know, so I, I'm not saying it's a bad decision whatsoever, but they know that uh, next year they're gonna have a super hard time handling. Uh, but, no, they're gonna have a really easy time because Nick Walker's gonna come in and yeah. <laughs> shouldn't yeah. this. Nick, I got news for you guys. We if if he didn't tear his hamstring, all of this right now would be a moot point because maybe that, he would be Mr. Olympia. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, maybe. no question. No you can't, question. until you see him up there next to these guys. You can't I, say there that. is no way. There is no way he would have shown up as soft as everybody. Every else. other guy was off. Everyone, he everyone would not be, even off. him, even him off would would beat everybody nah, else. Nah, I don't, I, yeah, but 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 John, John, I, I want to tell you this because a lot of uh, and I know Samson is very much offended, and I'm I'm sure that uh, Hadi and uh, Derek would be offended when uh, some of us would say like this: they were off. They were really not off. They appeared off-ish because of the lights. You, know, <laughs> so, you, you think you think it was all lighting? 
It, it was 95% lighting. I, I think the lighting issue, first of all, which was better on Saturday, I, I think the lighting was was a problem. But I think on on Friday night, the guys were a little off. The, the, the water just wasn't in the right place. You can see their bodies looked a little tired. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Everyone showed me pictures from the morning, and everyone looked a little different. I think the timing of that prejudging kind of screwed people up. Everyone seemed to have come back better on Saturday. And, you know, it was a better show on Saturday. And so it's not that anyone was off. People were lean. I just think on Friday night, their bodies, just something wasn't right about it. And I, and I, and the only thing I can attribute that to is the timing, because I know what it's like to sit around all day and be, be that heavy. Your body does starts to change and there's nothing you can do to stop it, you know? And, and, and nobody, nobody takes any joy especially me, and I know you too, Dave, yeah. nobody takes any joy in saying everybody was off, okay? So that may be the case, but th the idea that that is a prevailing opinion among a lot of people. <laughs> it's a lot would, of data, John. It's a, a lot data. of data, exactly. It's a lot of data. Why don't we use some of that data mm -hmm. and, and come up with a better answer? Because if you got to look at it this way, I look at it this way. These guys are toying with death for most of the year. I mean, they, they are working their asses off. There is no stone unturned when you get to the Olympia stage. They have put in blood, guts, and life essence into getting to that stage at that particular point in time. Every effort possible should be made for those guys to look their absolute best so that a bunch of peanut gallery members like us aren't saying everybody looked off because that's a tremendous affront to them and all the work that they put in. And I'm not knocking, I am not knocking the production. I could only imagine what it must have felt like to be a participant in that show as part of that whole spectacle. That must have been absolutely incredible, like being in a giant production like that. It had to be incredible. It was it was mind-boggling to watch. It was incredible. But at the same time, you, the pundits who are watching this stuff and reporting on it, they're they're commonly saying the same thing. They, everybody looked off. Everybody looked off. And that's not what we should be telling these guys. It should be quite the opposite.